My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and for today's Everyday Office video, I want to show you how to do a drop down menu in Excel. It's a pretty straightforward little task, actually. Uh, the basic premise is that right now, in any cell in your spreadsheet, you can type anything you want. I could type my name in, I could have typed a date in, I could type in a dollar amount. And really, there's nothing that I could type into a cell in the spreadsheet that Excel is going to stop me from doing. But there are tools to allow you to keep it locked down. These are called data validation tools. You can find them on the data tab up at the top of the screen. Uh, about uh, two thirds of the way across, you can see there's a data validation button right there. And this can come in a lot of different forms. This could be data validation about, um, I need to always make sure that there are numbers typed in or numbers between certain values or needs to be a date or whatever the case may be. Or if let's say you were filling out a form and you said um, reason for out of office, right? Okay, so what falls under your reason for being out of the office today, right? That's the question at hand. Well, underneath this, there could be maybe five or 10 different possible reasons that you could be out of the office today. And if that's the case, then it would be nice to be able to give that list to people to choose from instead of having them type whatever they felt like in here. So you go to the data tab at the top of the screen and you click on data validation about two thirds of the way across. And instead of allowing somebody to type in any reason for being out of the office in the entire world, that any value option there, you give them a list from that drop down menu. And then right into the source box, you simply put in reason for being out of the office is vacation, comma, sick, comma, on site visit, comma, personal day, or whatever. Now, the question is, after you put this in, after you put in this list of possible entries separated by commas, and you can see here it says in cell drop down menus, how we're going to present that list of options. Now, the question is, do I want to uh, give somebody uh, an error message if they try to enter something I don't like. So under the error alert option, maybe we allow them to enter whatever they want, but give them a very strong warning and say something like uh, no matching reason in the title here. And you say something like the reason entered is not a default option on the list. Please choose a relevant reason if possible. Okay. Now you could stop somebody using the stop option from putting anything that's not on the list already, or you can give them just a strong warning to say, maybe you shouldn't do this. I'm going to go warning on that. Click okay. And now you can see there's a drop down menu with those four options on it. And that if I type in the reason for being out of the office is none of your business, a warning message comes up and it says, ah, you know what, this isn't a matching option. Do you want to continue? And I could choose yes, if I give this as a warning instead of a stop, or I could say no, and I could choose an option from the drop down menu. And that's that. In addition to being able to choose uh, an option from something you typed in, you could also have a list over here to the side. For example, I could say something like, um, these are the states we do business in. That's uh, Arizona, uh, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, California, and Nevada. Those are the places we're allowed to do business in. And so from here, you could say, what is your state? like so and then right here just give a drop down menu again data tab up at the top of the screen data validation the settings would be to allow a list of values 
And this time around, the source is not something I type in by hand, but rather something I highlight. And then click OK. And there's my little drop-down menu. Piece of cake.